you wonder why so many big tech companies have been laying off thousands of employees in the recent months? According to layoffs.fii, the tech industry has seen a difficult period with layoffs. To name a few, Google affected over 12,000 employees and for that matter, Amazon let go over 18,000 people. For those of you who don't know about layoffs.fii, check out my previous short video. I'll put the link in the description box. Just to give you a quick idea, layoffs.fii is a free website that tracks layoffs regularly. Before we get into details, let me give you my quick intro. I'm Nikita, a Shrum certified HR. I have 15 plus years of experience in hiring professionals. In Recruitment Insights, I'm passionate about helping other recruiters and job seekers in reaching their career goals. As a tech recruiter, I was curious to know what exactly are the driving forces behind these layoffs and how the future looks like for techies. That led me to research and find the actual reasons that have impacted so many lives. During my recent research on layoffs, I found there are five top reasons for tech layoffs. One of the key factors is reduced e-commerce activities. In March 2020, when COVID hit, everyone was stuck in their homes and relied heavily on doing things online, from shopping via Amazon and binge-watching Netflix to using food delivery via apps like Zomato, Uber Eats, and so forth. The growth for such companies increased rapidly including Meta, Google, and Shopify, to name a few. Seeing the rapid rise in the business, the leaders of such companies projected massive growth in the years to come, and thus tech companies started hiring aggressively to fulfill their current and the near future hiring needs. Not only did hiring increase the headcount for the companies, but they also ended up paying higher salaries to new hires. Fast forward to mid last year, when things improved due to the introduction of COVID vaccine, people went back to their pre-pandemic routine, such as shopping in person, traveling, and dining out in restaurants. Subsequently, the reliance on online services had reduced to a great extent. This led to link of employees who were no longer needed. Next, the second reason is uncertain economic conditions. For many companies, link of employees is their emergency strategy. When demands for their products or services decrease, they let go their low performers and non-essential employees first under the name of layoffs. Many studies confirmed that the economy had been shrinking for the two consecutive quarters due to the war in Ukraine, inflation, and the fading pandemic situation. Plus, some other research highlighted that it was not the AI breakthrough, such as Chad GPT, that led to the recent layoffs, as this was the concern of most people. For those who don't know, Chat GPT is a chatbot that allows you to have human-like conversations and much more advanced interactions. This leads me to the third reason, which is pressure from venture capitalists. Let me first explain who venture capitalists are in simple terms. They are the investors who provide monetary funds to companies that show high growth potential. The reason investors risk in investing in such companies is because they can earn a massive return on their investment if such companies are a success. Now back to layoffs. The push from investors was also one of the other reasons for layoffs in big tech companies. Due to the uncertain economy, many investors were concerned about companies' profitability and thus forced many companies to reduce expenses. Some companies facing pressure from investors are Alphabet, Google's parent company and Meta. Moving along, the fourth reason for layoffs is some companies fix mindset on declining revenues. This has been proven by experts who point out that most companies believe that layoffs would increase profitability regardless of economic conditions. Consequently, layoffs happens. This brings me to the final reason some companies imitate their competitors. According to academic studies, some companies copy what their competitors are doing to stay profitable. They believe if other companies can let go, say, 12,000 employees and still work as usual, why don't they? Having said that, it is quite evident that layoffs are likely to continue as companies restructure and cut back on their salaries in an attempt to please investors and boost profits. Now the question comes, what does the future look like? for tech professionals. Let me tell you, even though tech layoffs are happening, there are companies who are still in need of quality talent. The future of work is still connected to technology. And thus, 
tech professionals with skills will stay in demand forever. With that, I hope you now have a clear understanding of the top five reasons for tech layoffs and why the future looks bright for skilled tech professionals. On a different note, if you're struggling writing a well-organized and an impressive resume, then I have got you covered. I've created a ready-to-use resume template that you can download for free from the recruitmentinsights.com. Along with that, you will get access to real-life resources on job searching, interviewing, and resume writing strategies. On the other hand, if you're in talent acquisition, I have an actionable checklist for you that I always use as my go-to sourcing strategy for hiring quality talent. Plus, you will get access to much more recruiting resources. I leave the link of the website in the description box below. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to this channel so that you will never miss any of my future uploads. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.